and welcome to your gold market update and charts of interest for today the 21st of march 2023 mike smith senior analyst of gold markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today overnight in the us we saw a positive session with all indices closing higher really we saw some continued calming in the banking sector following that news that ubs had taken over credit Suisse. Uh, Fed meeting in focus over the next couple of days. They are expected to raise rates again, of course. It's just a case of by how much. Uh, US futures are fairly flat in early Asian trading. Uh, the Russell is actually showing a slight gain, but the others are just above neutral. Asian indices are higher following that strong US lead from overnight. The ASX is up around 1.2%, and this has been helped to some degree by a slightly dovish RBA minutes than perhaps was expected. Uh, we're also seeing a little bit of a weakness in the AUD at this stage because of that. Uh, European equity futures are pointing to a positive open. The VIX drops, but was still volatile and is still above the 200 EMA, suggesting that markets aren't going to calm down really until after the Fed. US dollar index was slightly weaker again last night, as has been the case recently, and is testing support. It's near neutral in Asia today. Gold's paused below 2,000. It did pull back in Asia a little bit yesterday but it's early in the session today copper edged higher after breaching four dollars last week but looks stuck around 395 at this stage and we have seen a little bounce off 18 month lows in the oil space bitcoin gapped up again yesterday tested 28,000, but really failed to move higher after that initial enthusiasm it is trading at 10 month highs so it's not surprising really it's taken a little bit of a pause and of course, as we've already intimated, the FOMC begins its interest rate decision meeting, uh, the output of which will be released tomorrow night. The RBA minutes are also out, as we've said. Uh, later on, we've got German economic sentiment, Canadian CPI and US housing data due. Plenty for the markets to digest over the next couple of days. A couple of charts of interest. We're going to start with the US yen. You can see this continued drop after that breach of the 200 MA. Looks as though we're challenging a little bit of a key level now at 131 if we breach this we could see it significantly sell off but much will be dependent on what the fed does over the next couple of days on the asx one stock that caught our eyes nickel mines limited at ticket code nic uh, you can see there we've had a nice rounded bottom on this uh, after that significant drop which has been really in place since the beginning of the year looks as though there's some buying coming back into this and we've got an iron around about 91 cents as a level of interest a breach of that could see us back up towards a dollar trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now